Okay, I have a review for Tunes Cleaner, which is an iTunes media library cleaning program and repairer. It basically cleans up your iTunes media library. It finds duplicate files, and if it's duplicate files, you can choose to delete one of the duplicate files or not, in which case, if you do, it will help free up some disk space and clutter. It will also find missing art and information. So if you have, say, a piece of music, a movie, whatever, and it doesn't have a poster title, and it doesn't have a poster, and it doesn't have a title and description and things, you can try, no, you, iTunes will try and find that, but it, quite often it doesn't find the information, or not all of the information. This uses other sources to find all those informations for you, the poster and things, and put it in. You can also it also allows you to manually edit your files as well for the title description and things. It doesn't just do it automatically. Let's take a look at some of the uh, interface first, and then we'll talk about any more features. You can start to clean iTunes. You can open music files. You can clean up any duplicates, which I've just mentioned, and load saved results. You can also look at preferences. Here you can choose to fix any songs it finds that don't have album artwork and it doesn't have artist information, doesn't have album and unwritable items. You can replace the original meta if there is some present. Nothing much here and then automatically check for updates to this software. Okay, I'm now running its cleaning option. As you can see, it uh, says that the music list score is 95. Excellent, but I have the magic power to make it better. And you can hit fix or not. Now, these are just some files, which I think this one is some sound effect from the look of it. This one, it might be a file I made myself, perhaps one of my podcasts. I'm not sure what this belongs to, but I don't think it's a proper music file. So I'm not going to bother selecting these. These are some... Uh, music files which it's found that it doesn't have any information no albums basically most of these things here are um, not I'm not gonna bother fixing it for this review because I've run this program before and it did find some songs without information and corrected it so all that's left for this demonstration is files that don't need correcting they're not music files they're either files I made myself or just a load of rubbish basically so let's have a look at the next option. You can open music from here. Clean up duplicates. You can do a deep scan and you can choose to do low, medium, high setting or quick scan. For this review, let's just do a quick scan and hit scan. Well, you have to drag or drop folders you want to search for here. So I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to hit scan iTunes. Now that is said, music score list 100. We've double checked everything and you're clear now. So basically because I've run this before, it's found that there's no duplicates in iTunes. Return. Now I can add a folder here to check. So that's, so basically as you can see, I've just gone into my users folder and selected the music folder. So now I can hit scan and scan just the music folder. As you can see, it's found some. Here is a song which I downloaded free and it's telling me that it's in music. That it's in music and it's an MP3 here, but it's also in music, iTunes, iTunes Media. So do you want to remove, remove it from one of the folders? Well, if we remove it from here, it will no longer be in iTunes. So I don't want to do that. So I could remove it from here. So I could remove remove it from the music directly in the music folder. Thing is with that, I want it left in the music folder. So I've got a copy. So I can remove it from iTunes if I want, but I've still got the original copy. So I'm not going to do that. In which case, we can just unselect these and say, don't mess with these. And then we can move on to any others if they were there. So... I've got that one funny, uh, it's got, as you can tell from the title, it's a funny song, it's not serious. Um, got, just got that one, and I'm going to say, don't remove it, because if we do, 
I'm going to end up either not having the original and only having it in iTunes, or if I remove it from iTunes, I'm going to have the original, but I'm not going to be able to access it in iTunes unless I re-add it to the library. So let's just hit home. You can load saved results from, from previous sessions. As you can see, I'm using version 3.2. At this, at this time, at the time of making this review is the latest version. So let's open up their website quickly and just have a look at some of the feature lists before we finish up. As you can see, it detects and deletes duplicate songs. I've already gone through that. It gets, uh, it gets album artwork from iTunes and other music files, so not just iTunes. It can download and add tags such as the artist, the album, and the title information automatically from the internet it allows editing music tags manually as well so you're not just stuck with the automatic downloading feature delete duplicate of songs complete your music information manually edit files if you need to as you can see here advanced duplicate scanning as i as i showed you you have the quick scan or a very deep thorough scan which takes longer and apply results in one simple click and a scoring system, as I showed you, you have a score such as 80 or 100, and 100 means it's completely fine, 100%. Easy to use interface, fix songs in various categories, 100% compatible with Windows 8 as well as available on Mac. For this review, I have been using the Mac OS X version. It is available for Windows, including Windows 8. It costs $40 directly from them. Or... This one, uh, a program I reviewed previously, I reviewed another program by this company and it wasn't on, I, um, on Mac App Store. You had to buy it directly from their website. This one, however, is available from the Mac App Store in OS X Lion and Higher. You can get it from the Mac App Store priced in the UK at £14.99. If you like to get your uh, Mac software from the Mac App Store, you know, if it's available, then you can with this one. So bear that in mind. So do I recommend it? Well, it, personally, it's not a program I would use much myself. I don't tend to have much of a duplicate problem. I don't really need this very much. But if you're somebody with a huge iTunes library, you know you tend to allow yourself to have lots of duplicate files. You know you're perhaps a bit messy in, and you have some files here, some files there, and you want to clean up some disk space, and you want to keep your iTunes library clean, and it is a big library that you have then I'd recommend at least downloading the trial of this program from their website and having a look at it yourself. Because I personally wouldn't need to use this very often, if at all, but some people out there with huge iTunes libraries and people, people who maybe got a bit of clutter on their system, tend to have a lot of, lots of duplicate files, may find this very useful. So I recommend you go and download a trial. The link will be in the description. And thanks for watching please like and share this video and if you could do me a huge favor and subscribe as it only take a few seconds and will help me out a lot thanks